What's up YouTube? It's your boy Muhammad back with another video with the channel Mr. Top 10 Cents. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys my top 5 formal occasion fragrance list part 2. The first part was the designer list. This part is going to be the niche list. I'll go ahead and link down below the designer list if you guys want to check that out. So let's get started so we don't make this video too long. My number 5 is Amouage Reflection Man. For a watch to be number five, guys, you guys already know this is gonna be a banging list. I got some heavy hitters in here. A watch reflection man gives me a vibe of Jean Paul Gaultier, Lamal, and Prada Long. It has that Lamal DNA in it, but it has that iris, that soapy feel like Prada Long, just luxurious and goes great with a suit and tie, guys. Number five, a watch reflection man. Number four. I might get some hate for this, but remember this is my personal preference. There's many fragrances out there that could be suited well for a suit and tie, but this is what's in my collection and my preference in order, guys, all right? So number four is, you got Aventus and Club de Nuit Intense Man. The reason I have both of these together is because they smell so much alike, guys, and they're both niche. Our moth is a niche fragrance. A niche does not mean $200 or more. A niche means a company that is devoted just for fragrances. They invest all their time, money, and energy in making fragrances, and our moth does that, guys. Now, there's a lot of people out there that's really good that could pick out and decipher between our moth and Creed. Yes, and there's some great noses out there that could decipher between two different Aventus batches, like the Z01 or the 16H11. But the majority of the people out there, guys, are not gonna know the difference. You could wear this one day and pass by somebody, they'll compliment you, and wear this the next day and pass by that same person and they'll think you're wearing the same fragrance. It happened to me plenty of times. All right, guys, so number four, Creed Aventus and Club de Nuit Intense for Men by Armand. My number three fragrance, I've gotten a hold recently to the bottle about two, three weeks ago, but I've had a few decants, and this is becoming one of my all-time favorite niches, guys. This is Parfums de Marley Layton. This is supposed to be a boss bottle, intense on steroids, square rooted to the fifth power, I don't know, but just smells so good. Sweet and fruity and fresh in the beginning. Citrusy, just really amazing, unique scent to me. I really don't remember how Boss Bottle smelled like, but all I know is Parfums of Marley Layton, great for a suit and tie, guys. Now my number two uh, fragrance is gonna be a little bit controversial. Some people say that it's leaning feminine and I don't agree with that. It's perfectly unisex, and I feel like the most appropriate time for this fragrance is high-end events. Either going out on a date or a wedding, dressed to the max. I wouldn't wear this casually or to the office or anything like that, guys. This is Baccarat Rouge 540. This fragrance here has that sweet, sugar, cotton candy feel to it, but it's blended so well. You cannot pick a single note out of this, guys. One of my favorite fragrances. Now, I don't care what Demi Rawling says that she doesn't like it on man. All I know is that my wife loves it on me. I've worn this twice in the past week, and both times had had amazing reactions from my wife, guys. I was coming home late from work one day, and she was already asleep. I had sprayed this about an hour and a half prior to coming home. I went in bed and she rolled over, she smelled me, she woke up, she's like, oh my God, what is that that you're wearing? It smells so good. And two days ago, again, after I showered, I sprayed this twice, one on each, uh, one on each side of my neck, and I walked past her and she said, wow, that smells like heaven. It smells so good, guys. And if you have not tried this, try it out for yourself. It is pretty pricey, but remember, this little bottle would probably last you for a very long time because you only use it in very high and special occasions. Baccarat Rouge 540 by Mason Francis Curtis John, number two. 
Now, I was sitting there going back and forth with my number one and my number two. It was very difficult. I really wanted to do a tie for both of the fragrances. But at the end, I decided just to do a number one and two. But it depends on how I wake up in the morning to determine what's, which one is number one and which one's number two. But guys, this is my favorite fragrance, designer and niche at the moment. And that's the reason it's number one right now. Baccarat Rouge 540 might be on an even level with it on suit and tie occasions, but this overall is just my favorite scent. And this is YSL Tuxedo. Now what you get out of this fragrance is spices and patchouli and you get this boozy vibe out of it but it doesn't have any type of booze in it. It doesn't have whiskey, doesn't have rum. I don't know what makes it get that boozy uh, note in it. I guess is the spices that mix in blended well together and this is such a very very unique scent guys. The only thing I compare this to slightly is from the same house Lone Parfum Intense has a slight similarity to it, but other than that, this is a very unique fragrance, guys. Now, if you don't want to go out there and spend the two fifty like I did on this bottle, you could also go for Alexandria's Black Tie Fair. I made a comparison with that. I'm gonna go ahead and link that below as well for you guys to check it out. But it's thirty bucks for thirty mil and smells so close, guys. So 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 close, guys. But number one best formal fragrance is. YSL Tuxedo. All right, guys. Well, that makes up my top five niche formal fragrance list. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please comment below and tell me what your top five niche fragrance list would be for a formal occasion. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys with another video. Peace.